Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today ideally has to be day 16 of AWS Zero to Hero series, but many of our friends who are following this series and learning AWS are finding it difficult to log into the EC2 instances from their Windows machines. I've seen many comments saying that they are using the AWS terminal because they are not able to access the EC2 instances from their machines and people have issues with putty. They don't know how to access the EC2 instances from their Windows machine. So I'm doing this video to explain for all of our Windows users how to access the EC2 instances from your laptop. So you don't need to install any Oracle virtual box or something for this one. You can simply follow this video and connect to the EC2 instances in next five minutes. So firstly, I'll start with right from the basics. And this is a uh, laptop that I have borrowed. I haven't used Windows laptop for almost six years. So I got this laptop from someone else and I don't have any setup of mine in this laptop. So I'm just recording the screen and I'll show you right from the basics. There is nothing installed in this laptop as of now. So firstly, click on the launch instance and uh, provide any name, let's say test windows and uh, what I'll do is uh, let me select Ubuntu, we'll connect to a Linux machine. Here, let's use T2 micro and let me create the key value pair. Okay, so create key value pair, provide the name, let's say as Windows demo, right? So let's call this as Windows demo. Perfect. And uh, I'm not changing any settings here. I'm using the .pem file itself because if you are using putty, you have to go with this option. But in this demo, I'm going to use mobile XTERM. I'm going to show you how to use it through mobile XTERM, which is a even better software than putty. But if you want to use putty, then you have to click on this option and use the .ppk file. But my recommendation would be to use mobile XTERM. So .pem and create key value pair. So now this key value pair will also be downloaded on your laptop, right? So it got downloaded in the download folder. We'll go back to that. Now just check all your network settings are fine. You can click on the edit button and see if the public IP is enabled or not. Then everything looks fine. SSH is enabled, right? From anywhere. Perfect. Let's scroll down and click on the launch instance. Now this instance will get launched. Meanwhile, let me show you what you need to do from your end. So you need to take a different tab and search for download mobile external, right? So just download mobile external. Click on this button and you will see two options. Once you click on download mobile external, you will find a community edition and professional edition. Go for the home edition or the community edition. Click on the download now button. And after that, what you will do is you will have two options, mobile XTERM free home edition, portable one and installer one. Better to go with installer one because it makes your life much easier. So again, I clicked on this home installer and it is getting installed. I clicked two times. Oh, sorry for that. Okay. So let me cancel one and I have the other one that is installed already. Perfect. So it is installed on my laptop locally. Now what I need to do is I need to switch to the downloads folder. Okay. So click on the downloads folder when I am using this after a long, long time. All right. So now this is the place where my mobile XTERM got installed or downloaded. So what actually happens is it gets installed as a zip file. So if you see here, this is a zip file that got installed. You can just click on the right arrow and click on extract all. Once you click on extract all, you will get a folder like this. Mobile XTERM installer, the latest version. Go into that one. Do not go into the zip file, but go into the extracted folder. Now double click on this one and a installer gets opened. Preparing to install. Click on the next button. Agree to all the conditions. Click on the next button. Perfect. Install. Now this will install all of your, uh, you know, mobile XTERM related things. Perfect. 
perfect click on the finish button now the mobile xterm is installed you can go to the search bar and search for mobile xterm perfect and open this one now you are almost done what you need to do now is just take the ec2 instance that you have created this should be the ec2 instance that i have created where was it perfect go to the instance get the ip address This is the IP address, right? So copy the IP address to the mobile desktop. So here, go to the sessions, right? You have this option, SSH, Telnet, RSH. Just go with SSH and provide the host name here. That is the IP address. What, do you, what should be your username? Your username should be Ubuntu. Perfect. Click on the advanced shell settings and here click on use private key. And now select the private key that you have downloaded, right? So how do you do that? Just go to the downloads uh, folder and you will see windows demo.pem. Open that. Okay. Now I have downloaded the, uh, sorry, I have added the windows uh, pem. Click on the OK button. And that should be it. It will just ask a pop-up for accept. Accept it. And now your mobile external will be able to authenticate to the EC2 instance. If you see here, now I am inside the EC2 instance already. This is my EC2 instance. You can try out bunch of commands to verify. Uh, you can just say sudo app update. Done. Perfect. So this is your mobile xterm and I have connected to the EC2 instance. So uh, this is basically how you will access EC2 instance. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, see you all in the next one. I made this video very specifically for our friends who are using Windows machines. So yeah, that's all. Uh, see you in the next video, day 16, where we will cover about the AWS CloudWatch.